Hey friends, today we're going to be talking about a breaking news story this week, which is really vital to understanding security and encryption on the internet. The majority of internet usage is in the web browser. And to secure the connection, your passwords, all of your really sensitive data goes over HTTPS. As we can see at the top, HTTPS is at the beginning of an encrypted website. Now, with this encryption, we rely on certificate authorities to validate that the connection is secure. And you can actually check if there is a malicious certificate, a man in the middle attack on your machine by going to connection secure, then go to more information, then go to view certificate. And at this point, you can check the real fingerprints like this right here, SHA-256. If you cross-reference this exact fingerprint against known real fingerprints like the list I just created a new repository on the Gitya onion as a resource where you can actually cross reference and ensure you're not under a man in the middle attack. For example, some employers will force employees to install root certificates so that they can snoop on those employees on the company VPN. This is completely understandable for a company machine, but Beware if you're forced to install this on your own machine and you use their VPN for personal traffic, then they would indeed be able to read all of your content, passwords, everything by having that control over the connection and also the root certificate installed. You may see something like this. This CA root certificate is not trusted and you would have to then enable the trust of it. Another example here with man in the middle and root certificates is with man in the middle pro proxy where you install the certificate authority to give it permission to issue forged certificates for every website. That allows them to make the website appear secure even with the padlock at the top, but they can also read all of that data and you know personal information that goes over the HTTPS. And so there's a real danger there. Let's look back at a little bit of history. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Superfish bug. I covered this about three years ago. In 2015, Lenovo laptops came with a BIOS level backdoor and a root certificate that was installed that would allow them to then read all of your data, all of your passwords, all of your logins, everything that is done on that computer with HTTPS would then appear to be secure, but it would in fact be accessible to these companies that are running these systems and operations. And so even if you reinstalled Windows at that time on one of those machines, in fact, there's 40 million of these machines out there that were Lenovo machines. You have to actually flash over the BIOS with clips. So you have to fully disassemble the laptop in this case to get rid of this BIOS level backdoor and reflash the BIOS with a clean one. And this is something I actually do with laptops right now. I actually make core boot laptops. Also, Dell had something just like Superfish, which had its own ability to impersonate any HTTPS protected website and spy on even in banking, shopping online. And this rogue certificate was called eDell Root. This is around the same exact time as the Lenovo Superfish bug. Now, what's interesting about it is we just don't know how much of this is going on, how many BIOSes are actually backdoored. And that's why I prefer to use Core Boot or LibreBoot laptops, things like that. And also I, I enjoy using ARM machines. I use a Pine Phone, Pine Tab, those kind of things also are a little more open than some of the other hardware. We look back at these stories and we can kind of tell what may be out there given the history. So this particular story on TrustCore, which reports on some of the connections to contractors who help decrypt traffic, Packet Forensics, which had similar agents on file for the companies and interesting links to 
MessageSafe, which is an end-to-end -end encrypted email provider where researchers found they weren't, in fact, end-to-end -end encrypting the content. But what's interesting is a source for the author there said that they actually did use TrustCore certificate process and email service to intercept communications. Yes, Packet Forensics does that, said this person speaking on condition of anonymity. The history, the different systems that this has happened, this is one of the weakest points in the internet security, which is having to trust a hundred something root certificate authorities who can at any time turn on users if they were malicious in order to decrypt the traffic on those machines, especially if they have something like those BIOS level backdoors that we were just discussing, which there could still be many of those being installed to ensure persistence, meaning even if you reinstall Windows, Linux, or whatever, that it will continue infecting that computer, no matter what you do, unless you reflash the BIOS. Another piece of history, 2015, Google withdrew the root authority of the China Internet Network Information Center after it allowed an e intermediate authority to issue fake certificates for Google sites, which means it would be uh, allowed to decrypt the traffic. Packet Forensics, the company in this article, they're known for selling the interception devices and tracking services to authorities, that so-called lawful intercept. They also are four months into a Pentagon $4.6 million contract for, quote, data processing, hosting, and related services. A researcher attended an invite-only industry conference that was nicknamed, aptly enough, the Wiretapper's Ball. They provided brochures aimed at law enforcement and agency customers, and one of those was a piece of hardware that helped buyers read the web traffic that parties thought was secure. That would be the perfect position if you were a root certificate authority to be able to decrypt that traffic. And there's been several countries around the world that have had their own root certificate authorities to allow them to decrypt or man in the middle traffic on the large scale of the internet and also individual targeting. What's important to note is there are no actual reports at this point that trust core certificates have been used inappropriately. The researchers speculate the system was used against high value individual targets within short time frames. And a person who was familiar with the operations agreed and said that was in fact how it was used. So they do have this position of ultimate trust. They can issue encryption keys for any website and any email address. There was also a case where Google had their own certificates forged by Symantec, who is known in the virus scanner world, and they issued 30,000 of these forged HTTPS certificates. If you're a Windows user, there's an easy way to check for these malicious certificates on your computer. And this doesn't have to be superficial only. This is for any malicious certificate. You can actually install something that you can utilize to do a check called SIG check. So if you want to do that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can try that out and it'll check and cross-reference your actual installed certificates for you. Now, if you're a Linux user, a Mac user, or otherwise, you can check out the Gitia Onion for the real certificate fingerprints that should be for each website. So be sure to check out the blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. The vast majority of posts are already public there and if not, will be public in the future. So check out the latest tutorial, secure private email setting up Thunderbird with PGP. You can utilize all the benefits of Onion Mail and add a PGP key. Decentralize the encryption process away from even Onion Mail. This is all another reason I'm always emphasizing using things like I2P and Tor Hidden Services especially because Onion addresses actually utilize end-to-end -end encryption 
between the Tor clients of the browser and the Tor client of the server itself. And that prevents things like this story. It's another reason some call it the quote dark web. They aren't able to break through or decrypt the traffic using root certificates, much less danger of encryption being compromised when you're using something like a Tor hidden service. So be sure to check out the blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech and I will be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.